Welcome back. Lloyds of London uh, projects that the losses could be the biggest on record for insurers as a result of coronavirus. The industry could face more than $200 billion in losses. And the Lloyds CEO says the full impact may not be known for two years. Zurich Financial and Zurich, sorry, Zurich, Zurich Insurance says COVID-related claims could total $750 million this year. Already paid is $200 million in the first quarter. The stock remains flat as they had results uh, down less than one-tenth of one percent on the day. Mario Greco is the CEO of Zurich Insurance. He joins me now. When we talk about the losses that you're going to be paying, where are the losses coming from? Is it this property and casualty? But, or how, where are your losses? Is it business interruption insurance? What's the claims about? Yeah, the great majority, first of all, good afternoon to all of you. Uh, the great majority of the losses uh, is about uh, business interruption, which is part of the property policies, yes. And yet many people have found in many cases that their business interruption insurance didn't cover this, either because it didn't have a pandemic clause or there's been some other way. Do you think the insurance industry, I mean, I know you're not ob obligated to rush out with your checkbook, but there are many people who've found that their policies haven't covered the very thing they thought they were covered for. Um, so, first of all, uh, we ha have been uh, uh, helping as much as possible customers by waiving uh, conditions uh, which could be uh, um, discussed uh, or not clear and giving them the best interpretation. The problem is that, especially in the United States, um, the standard policies for property typically have two exclusions. One exclusion uh, pertains to uh, physical damages. So you will be reimbursing only physical damages uh, to properties. And the second one is an exclusion for viruses. Um, the two together um, represent a very strong exclusion um, of these consequences. Still, I mean, we have enough policies uh, uh, without these characteristics, uh, and uh, on all these policies, we will immediately pay, or we have paid already, uh, the damages uh, to the people in need. And uh, this is where uh, more than uh, uh, the roughly 60% of our 750 million are. No, I just want to turn to sort of one other area because Zurich is you've got a lot you're a large company with a large number of employees as we look to the future are you going to be allowing people to work from home more and do you see working from home as being a significant change in the workplace of the future for your employees Absolutely, Richard. Um, since the beginning of this uh, pandemic uh, in Asia early on this year, um, we closed offices there and we asked all employees to start working from home. We tested uh, early January our technologies and they responded incredibly well. So when the virus uh, moved uh, closer to uh, Europe and then US, uh, we just follow that. Uh, we immediately close offices well before government uh, indicated that as a proper policy, and we ask the people to work from home. Um, we're very, very pleased so far with that. So people are working well, uh, technology is responding. We discover um, with that uh, a new way of working, which will remain with us for a long time. Actually, we have no rush to go back so to offices at this time. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be looking at whether you need all that office space, that expensive office space around the world. Um, the, the, you know, Twitter is now saying, Twitter's now saying, if you want to work from home, you can. And I, I get the sort of feeling that there is a societal revolution underway when it comes to an employee's relationship to their employer. Well, you've got 50 odd thousand employees. Are you feeling the same? 
Uh, I think this is a revolution. I think it is a very good one. Um, you know, the impact that this is having on the planet is very positive. Right. It's not just that you don't travel to go office, you don't travel around the world. I mean, we have cut significantly to the point that we eliminated the travel budget for the rest of the year. And we think that this is very sustainable. And we think that, frankly, this is for better for the people who traveled. Traveling was heavy on their bodies and for the planet. Um, and so, you know, among the many um, right. bad uh, consequences of the virus, this is a very good one. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Let's talk again in the future. I appreciate it.